Hi guys, so I'm here with another fairy loot unboxing and if you cannot tell this month's box is purple it is because it is their two year I think anniversary box. Now last year the anniversary box had Strange Dreamer in it. The blue copy with the blue sprayed edges the UK cover and I'm super excited to see what's in this one. So let's open it. If you do not know what Fairy Loot is, it is a YA book monthly subscription box. Um, it renews monthly on the first of the month and every month the theme, uh, there is a theme and coinciding with the theme you get a new YA release book as well as bookish merch like goodies. And usually the boxes are black with a white logo and I just, I like purple, can you tell? So I'm, I'm stoked about this book for many, I mean this box for many different reasons. So let's see what we got. All right, so right on top it is the art card with, um, of course, the spoiler information on the back. The theme for this month being March of 2018 is memorable moments. And I keep all of these. They always have a matching bookmark, and I'm stoked. Right on top, there is, is this a bath bomb? What is this? It's soap. It is handmade vegan strawberry and vanilla flavored soap from Geeky Clean. The scent is Bilbo's Birthday Cake. It's got a cute little logo on it. I can smell it a little bit through here. It smells really good, actually. I love, um, artisan soaps. Alright, next. Game of Thrones themed, I believe. It is hot chocolate? It is luxury drinking chocolate. It is vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free, nut-free, and sustainably sourced. It is by Eponine, fine chocolate and confectionery. The title is Toast to the Warden of the North. I'm opening it now because I want to, oh my crap, that smells good. Ugh, it smells like a straight up milk chocolate bar. I'm making this today before the weather gets any warm, my dollar. Then there is the normal 10 tons of, well, what the fuck is this? Cork bunting. Oh, so they're little bunt flags, but they're made out of cork. So... You hang them. There are five cork flags and a white string, 20 EVA foam pads, and 20 pins. No idea what the fuck's up with the little disc things. Oh, if the pin sticks out of the back of the cork, you put the foam pad on the back of the pin so it doesn't scratch the wall. But it basically makes like those little like party flag kind of things, but they're cork. That's kind of cute. I can dig it. I can dig it. I usually don't hang shit up because I'm a lazy turd, but I might stop. Ooh, Goblet of Fire is a little candle. It smells like fresh bread and chocolate. It is a fairy loot exclusive, but it's all like blue and white swirl, which I like. I don't know how I feel about this. I usually don't like food smelling candles, but we'll see. Yep, yep, that, that smells like chocolate. It smells like straight up chocolate chip cookies. All right, next. Well, whatever the crap it is, I can already tell it's from the Mortal Instruments. Oh, it's a scarf. That's cool. That's pretty neat. I do what I would do with it, because I'm not a scarfy type of person, and the job I have, the people would probably freak out and think there's some kind of weird cult symbols. Then, there is... A little pin from the bells. It just says bell on it to match the cover as well as a bookmark from the bells. It says, I am a bell. I control beauty. That is from the recent release of the bells by Danielle Clayton. That is the last item. Lastly, we have our box, which is, this book is a little small feeling. Anywho. It is always put in this black bag so you can't spoil yourself and then there's all the spoiler paper stuff in here as well so you don't pick up like a bookmark from the book and get spoiled. Alright, let's see what this is. State of Sorrow by Melinda Salisbury from the best-selling author of The Sin Eater's Daughter. I've never heard of this. I've 
no idea what the hell it is, but this cover is gorgeous. A people laid low by grief and darkness, a cutthroat race for power and victory, a girl with everything and nothing to lose. By day, sorrow governs the court of tears, covering for her grief-maddened father who has turned their once celebrated land into a living monument for their brother who died before she was born. By night, she seeks solace in the arms of the boy she's loved since childhood, but one ghost won't stop haunting her, and when enemies old and new close ranks against her, Sarah must decide how far she's willing to go to win. Be swept away by a dark and dangerous new world from Melinda Salisbury, author of the Sin Eater's Daughter trilogy. I'm curious. I do freaking love that cover though. Isn't that gorgeous? Jesus. Alright. Then, what's in the spoilery stuff? There is the signed book plate to go inside the book, as well as the bookmark to match the art card. And there is a postcard for State of Sorrow. Then there is a signed letter from the author, as well as the fairy scoop, which is the newsletter. Now, I try not to read these too much because they tend to be a little spoilery. So this one's bigger than usual. It lists booktubers like Emma Books, Little Book Owl, Pierre Ford, The Clockwork Reader, Book Roast, Haley and Bookland, Instagram Pictures, Bingeworthy Trilogies, list of the books, the past books and the author's pictures, and then it has next month's theme. So next month's theme for the month of April is Whimsical Journeys. This box is perfect for people that love epic and whimsical journeys filled with magic, mythology, and unlikely alliances. You'll find items inspired by Narnia, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, The Hobbit, The Darkest Minds, and Percy Jackson. Oh dear, I've not read any of those. Um, I have The Darkest Minds. Ooh, the book we have selected is a fantastic story filled with Norse and Celtic mythology and Viking magic. Okay. I'm happy. I don't care what else is in the box. I want that book. Um, this edition will also have exclusive foiling. The standard edition will not sign book pay, letter from the author, yeah, yeah, yeah. Same stuff. So, really excited about it because I love books. It's in mythology. Yes, please. Alright, that is it for this unboxing, guys. I will catch you next time. Bye.